Hello and welcome everyone. This is Steve Hefferon from the Healthy Back Institute. And Jesse came up with the great idea that we should show people some very simple self-reflexology techniques to help eliminate pain. Now, if you're not familiar with reflexology, it is basically the study of that the bottom of the foot represents virtually every part and structure function of our body. For example, there's the, the muscle tissue, the bones, the joints, our organs, and our um, adrenal or endocrine system. And really what we can do is help to break up any blockages or restrictions or tension in the foot to help the rest of the body work in a more balanced way. Now, let me begin before I start showing you all the techniques to say that there is no right or wrong way to do this. The intensity, the frequency, and the duration are all up to you. The way that you are doing it is the correct way for you. Now, what we do suggest that you do is that you experiment with the idea of, you know, the pressure, the duration, the techniques. But what we do know is that the use of heat is going to help relax and keep um, the blood flowing just a little bit better. So coming out of the shower is a great time to do it. The use of a heating pad. Simply take one of the heating pads, put it on the floor, and put your feet on it. Five, ten minutes. You're working on one side. You switch, you're working on the other side. That's the other tip. I want you to do both sides. Now, while your feet are on, uh, on the pad, let them warm up to, to, to comfort, to tolerance. But understand that there are a lot of areas of the body. So we have some charts that we can use to help us from a visual perspective to, uh, to find those landmarks on the foot to ensure that we're in the correct location um, for, the, uh, for the application of the, of, the, of the massage techniques on that area of the foot. Now, before we get started, there's a few things that we need to go over. The first is the position. Now, I can do this position. If you all remember, this is the, this is the really good position to stretch out the sciatic nerve. We'll get into this position, come forward, and then lean forward, and it really gets the sciatic muscle, or the sciatic, uh, excuse me, the piriformis muscle. Now, it gives me great access to the foot. Uh, unfortunately, if you can't do that, what I do is I take this foot and I tuck it way back so that my knee is down and now I don't have to bring it up nearly as much. Or I'll take this foot and I'll stick it out and again my foot doesn't have to be nearly as high. But with the idea that someday I'm going to be here and I'm going to be able to push the side down and I'm going to be really able to see the whole bottom of the foot. So you'll have to experiment with that too. Find those positions that work best for you. And the use of a cream is very important. Here at the Healthy Back Institute, we use rub-on relief. Um, Celadrin, Arnica, MSN, a little bit of menthol. Fabulous. All right, when we come back, I have to readjust the camera angle to get the bottom of the foot so that you can see the techniques, the strokes that I use, and really try and identify, or let me help you identify the areas of the body. So stay tuned. All right, now that I've got a good position and a good camera angle, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of cream, put a little bit of lotion on there. You can use a, uh, an essential oil if you like, but really what you're doing is just getting a nice, uh, you know, thin coat of oil on, on the, uh, or lotion on, on the foot. Really what we want to do is just a few warm-up strokes just to get the foot ready to do it. Um, warm-up strokes could be uh, what's called a knuckling technique, so you can kind of knuckle the bottom of the foot. It's very important in reflexology that you go all the way up to the toes and all the way onto the heel because again, every part of the foot is representative to the body as a whole. So you've got knuckling, you've got gliding, you can glide all the way up, again, all the way up to the tip of the toe. Each one of these you could do it, you know, five times to come each up each toe. Uh, it doesn't matter if you use one or two, two fingers or one or two thumbs. Again, the speed. Typically the speed would be slower, so it would be something like this. I'm just trying to rush it for the camera. So again, it would be that. Again, so here's your head, here's your neck. Um, the ball of the foot represents the thoracic spine. The arch represents the um, lumbar, and the heel represents the sacrum. Okay, so as we're going through this, I want you to just kind of 
remember the locality cheat by using the charts and um, so to get the spine so let's say the entire spine here's the sacrum we're just going to start down and we're going to do some gliding strokes so this would be the first one okay again you can do this 10 15 20 50 times doesn't matter to me all right that's that's the gliding stroke the next stroke is really the important one and it also is representative of the fact that the reflexology is also somewhat of a acupressure technique so you'd start down here and you do this thumb walking technique just like I'm doing you push down and you move it forward push down and move it forward push down and move it forward I hope you can see that okay and you would do that all the way up do -do 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 all the way up now the key is as you're coming up that when you feel something like I felt I feel something right there now you just hold it there whether it's sustained pressure little circles doesn't matter again the amount of pressure you put down is to your tolerance move it around just a little bit till you find what I call the epicenter the point of most discomfort and then finish off the stroke do, 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 all the, and all the way up uh, okay so the forefoot is for the um, I say forefoot the toe, the, the toe uh, and all the way into the ball of the foot is for the head and the neck. The ball of the foot is for the thoracic. The arch of the foot is for the lumbar and the heel is for the sacrum. Now, to get the sciatic nerve, the sciatic nerve uh, runs somewhere down here, the bottom one third of the heel. Okay, so again, you would do some gliding strokes, gliding strokes, or the thumb walking. And if you feel a point of discomfort, let's just say it's right there, just hold it. Sustain pressure, little circles, maybe a little, maybe a little bit of movement, get it in there, holding it just long enough to get that area to release a little bit. All right, now let me throw in one more. We know that people are in pain or stressed. We know that stress stresses or puts more uh, strain on the adrenal system. Now the adrenals, can be found somewhere, well, if you take the entire arch of your foot and then take the middle of the arch and then come in about a half an inch, well, let's say half an inch to three quarters of an inch, your adrenal uh, point is going to be right here. So again, find it, if you really push, if you can't get it, find it, you'll know when you got it, like I feel it right there, just give yourself a little bit of pressure, I'm not even going to tell you a time amount to hold it. I don't care if it's 10 seconds or five minutes. Just hold it. Move it around a little bit. Get it stimulated. You also want to kind of feel like your thumbnail is really doing the work. So, getting right in there. All right. That gives a very, very basic technique on how to address the foot from a reflexology. See that little redness there? That means I know I was on the right spot. That's good. I know I'm going to feel that later on today. All right, guys, that was um, a very quick overview of reflexology with some tips, with some showing of the, um, the areas of the foot and some of the specific techniques that you can use. So please experiment. The charts will be below on this page. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us and we'll be glad to help you in any way that we can. Thank you and good night.